So today I've got a really important task for you. I want you to go out into the wild and I want you to do a listener survey for us and find out the radio listening habits for people in Bridgewater. The station has a vital role in the community in so much as we are the first port of call to find out what's going on in the event of things going wrong. You know, road closures, floods, of course with COVID, that proved to be uh, a big thing when people tuned in. And we know people are listening, but we just don't know how many people are listening and it would be lovely to find out just how many are. So basically go into town, ask a whole bunch of people a bunch of questions and yeah, should be easy enough. So um, yeah, I'm going to call you throughout the day, um, just make sure you don't get distracted. Toby? Of course not. Ren? We'll be quiet. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I'll see you later. And to be fair, we are meant to ask random people, so... How often do you listen for? The biggest part of the day, actually, apart from the certain times when I can't have me my phones or phones on, like in the building. Fair enough. Angel Place is my turf. He needs to move himself down to Asda. I'm sure there's an arcade down there anyway. Well, thank you very much for your time. No problem, thanks so much. She got it! You know, Dave, it's a bit like we've got our own um, series of The Apprentice. Yeah? How's that? Well, we've sent them off into the, the wilds with a task, and we're going to be able to grade them, and then we're going to be able to say to one of them, you're fired. <laughs> you're enjoying that. Yeah, but how do you actually think they're going to get on with the survey itself? I, I reckon... Um, Toby could be a bit kind of all over the place. Um, you know, he'll, uh, he'll get distracted. I'll, but he, you know, he might well nail it after I phoned him fifty times. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that Erin will play by the rules, and I think she might struggle a bit. But I think she'll probably develop an alter ego later on in the day, and she'll nail it. Uh, what about Ren, though? I think Ren could go either way. Actually, I think Ren could um, either talk to one person all day long. Uh, or speak to 100 and totally excel. It's going to give Toby a call. Hey. Toby, I'm just checking in to see how you're doing. Yeah, not too bad, thanks. I've literally just finished off another interview. Well, that's fantastic. What was their name? Oh, um... Um, yeah. <laughs> that's a really unusual name, isn't it? Um... So, how long's it all sort of um, taken? Is it going okay? Yeah, it's like, what? Sorry, I think, I think we're getting dis... dis, dis I swear he's just cut me off. Well, it sounded to me like he was in an arcade. I'll just message him. Submitted to Christ. I'm not asking. To just, I'm not trying to sell you Jesus. Can I ask you some questions, uh, whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I just want to ask some questions. Oh, aggressive marking, huh? Hi. Um. Hi. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. Research? Why don't you sit down? Thank you. Um. Do you actually listen to the radio? Yes, I do. It's amazing. Oh, cool. Hi, Ren. Oh, hi. How's it going? Uh, I'm, I'm doing great, actually. Really well. How many people have you spoken to? Um, I have spoken to one person. Just the one person? Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you ask them all the questions, though? I asked them all 30 questions. 30 questions? Well, yeah, okay. So you gave me 15 questions, but yeah. then I would, like, they asked me some more questions and I thought they were really interesting, so then I asked some more questions after that and it just kind of developed from there. Right, well, you better go get on and uh, get some more in for us. I think it's going great, you know. So, uh, do you listen to the radio often? 
do you listen to it more like privacy or like background noise? I put it on for my dog whenever I leave the house. But do you or your dog, do you like any like stations? No. You're fired.